Hey guys, this is Dan Gary back with another video and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And we're on a um when we are on episode two episode two of this um Red Dead Redemption two gameplay and we are on episode two and this is what we're gonna do and we I um and I'm doing a mission with the Karen mission where you find um Como Driscoll. Como Driscoll is uh, he has a gang and then a bad gang, like, they cause crimes. And I guess, um, we, like, we just, our gang is outlaws. And, and, get, and I guess Dutch, that's the leader of the gang. And I guess, um, Dutch wants to, like, take him. And this is the thing, we found money. Bro, we got a bunch of money in Ridge. We are rich. We are rich, guys. We gotta clean this gun because it's like a double barrel shotgun. Search the chimney. At least you got something tucked away. Sixteen dollars. I mean, Oh, that gun, we don't need that gun no more. Now what we do is... We fight. We fight because there's some guys here. So, what it... What this thing is, they're um, bounty hunters. Just two bounty hunters. That's it. Now we gotta take these guys out. I gotta take these guys out. So we got him. So we got the bounty hunters out. We took them out. Shoot. Now we got the law on us. Our next mission that we're gonna do is Oh yeah, we're gonna do um We're gonna do the uncle with the uncle one. So we go back to the camp. Bro, they don't notice me. They didn't notice me at all. Oh my gosh, they didn't. The cops didn't notice me. Wow, that's cool. So as we go on, guys. Bro, they don't notice me. It's like I'm invisible. Shoot. We are not surrendering, guys. We can't. We have $138. I think it's 
gun's OP. We just blast his head off. We blast his head off, but we have to keep going. I'm gonna change the hat now. Okay, now we, oh shoot, no. I need that. So anyway, guys, um, as as we continue, as we continue this journey of ours, whoa, that was the train. As we continue this journey, we go on to we go on to the um, the thing. We go back to the camp and do the mission. go we need some rest so what got a letter dear Arthur I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right it's me you know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. So Mary Linton was Arthur Morgan's wife. And I guess they got a divorce or something. Now we have to go with her or something. But we now we get some rest. So we get some rest, guys. So anyway guys, um, this video, so this is episode 2, oh, a flower, okay now we go to the wardrobe, I'm going to change our outfit to this one. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. We can't have this outfit. We go with the gunslinger. No more desperate straps. It's in the depths of nature. Less desperate. Okay, now we wake up Uncle. He's part of the gang. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Now you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready.
If you gonna take the old man in town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. So now we go to right, right to Valentine. These girls seem horrible. Crab guys, so it was a mission fail. The wagon was the wagon was wrecked. Guys, so I did the carrying mission and and I did the carrying mission when you find the on the Driscoll. Go 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 and now, now we're doing this mission, the uncle mission. And now, what we're gonna do is we have to just drop this thing off, the stagecoach. Down the main street. So as we see here, as we see here, we have to do this. Center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we Well, we're gonna do what any self respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourself noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. <laughs> So I have to follow you Uncle. Yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. So he said, he said we're a sad because yes. he called Arthur Morgan a sad man. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ring is my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. All right. So anyway, guys, um, yeah. after, so this is the last mission that we're gonna do. Shut up. 
This is the place. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. So we're gonna buy a bunch of this. Yeah, I guess you probably steer clear of the saloon this time. You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I'll so I bought two coffee. chocolate bars. And now what we're going to do is... As you guys see, here's to your good health, my sir. So I just skipped that. Sorry, guys, if you want to see the scene. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. But as you guys see, you're going to take him down. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Timmy Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Can I help you, sir? No trouble now, please. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. <laughs> so that was the wrong room, guys. Took them out that quick. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just man. But the stupid bastard. The stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. I'll keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched Tim a lot harder. All right, then. Hey. Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Well, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. We're gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Shit, oh. The man from Blackwater. And you gotta get the man from Blackwater. You gotta get the man from, from Blackwater. You have to get the man from Blackwater. Oh, what? And, and then you have, to get, you have to get the man from Blackwater. And he has a pin, I guess. And I guess he stole this guy's horse. Oh shoot. So we 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 just killed him. So that is the end of the mission guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now do the next episode tomorrow. Guys, so make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment. I lost a subscriber, which I'm very upset about disappointed about so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye